Welcome to AP Spray Arts. Let's get creative. Hey guys, as always, thanks for joining my YouTube channel here, um, watching the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I put up spray painting videos a couple times a week. Um, and you're gonna see my journey going from learning to hopefully getting better. Uh, this one here is a phoenix. I wanted to try and do a um, phoenix from the fire, but also kind of an ice phoenix, which I thought was kind of a little different. So uh, right here, I'm just covering up half of where my stencil is going to go and doing the fires. A whole bunch of different reds, yellows, oranges. One thing I always forget to mention in my videos, and I even forgot to mention at the beginning of this one, is don't forget to check out my store if you're interested in any of my work. Um, some of the paintings I show are on there, some are not, but I can always do custom brand new versions of paintings. I don't sell prints, I just sell original paintings. Um, so you just click on the link tree on my channel and then painting shop at the beginning of that, at the top of that, and that'll take you right to my store where you can check out things, prices, and get in touch with me. So here I come with some ice. Uh, I didn't really cover it up great for where I'm putting it, but I think it turns out all right in the end. We will see. So just lifting up some of that paint, getting some texture in there so that it's not just pure blue and colors like the other side. And there I didn't have the right color for the head, so I had to put a little extra in there. Uh, I have to give thanks to my wife. She cuts all my stencils for me. Uh, we often have debates on the size of what each stencil should be. And I'm like, I don't know, stencil size. That's usually not the right answer, of course. So my original idea for this painting was to have the phoenix rising from the forest and having a mountain scene in the back, which is what I'm doing right there. And I didn't really have any idea of what it was going to be like. But it ended up being, during the time I was painting this, there were a whole lot of forest fires here in Saskatchewan where I live. Uh, came in close to show you the second layer of mountains going up. And so this ended up being kind of like a phoenix rising from the forest fires of Saskatchewan. Because it was at a time in 2023 when the Canadian wildfires were so strong that the smoke was um, all the way down to New York City and it was making life a little difficult for the people down there. So here I'm with a little bit of sponge, just putting trees. For these, you just kind of tap down lightly, lifting up a little bit of the sponge so that you're getting that point at the top. And remember to do all different sizes of trees. I lived in the rural area and the forest is not straight across. It's all up and down all over the place. Big trees, little trees, leaning trees, all kinds of stuff. And here I'm just filling it in. Just trying to make a little more. Getting ready for the next level. So question of the painting. What is your favorite mythical creature? Um, there's phoenixes, griffins, unicorns. All kinds of stuff. Uh, owl bears. Uh, they were in the, the Dungeons and Dragons movie last year. That was pretty cool. Um, so let me know in the comments what your favorite mythical creature being is. Maybe we'll have a little talk about it. I like phoenixes. They're a sort of sign of rebirth and rejuvenation. Um, that you've been beaten down so far that you're completely burnt in the fire, but then you rise from the ashes and you come back stronger than ever. Uh, I get down about many things, whether it's my artwork or financial situations or my relationships, but hopefully everything comes back and I get stronger with what happens next and I make the difficulties that I went through worthwhile in the end. So uh, this is supposed to be kind of streaks coming out from the ice side of the Phoenix. 
and then I'll have some fluorescent streaks coming out of the other side. Kind of like rays coming off of the phoenix wings. Speaking of mythical beasts, did you know that the unicorn is the national animal of Scotland? There's some good trivia for you for Trivia Night. So I like doing little rays like this. I do them in space scenes too. Um, it's just kind of cool to see the rays going off. That was a bad sentence, but hey, this is all about just doing what we do. Going with the progress trusting in the process and seeing what happens. So here I am putting down a kind of shoreline mist. Um, somewhere in there is when I decided to make it kind of about forest fires. So that's why I have the red mist going across and reveal the, you know, the Phoenix. Doesn't look great there, but you'll see later on. Looks better when you're farther away, of course. And here I am doing fire. I'm just taking paper and spraying different colors and then pulling the paper upwards to make the flames going up. So this was supposed to be just the phoenix rising from the flames. Um, but you'll see later on when I do the water that it took on a whole new meaning. Also, yes, I know Saskatchewan does not necessarily have mountains. They do up north. I used to work up north in the mountain area, not really mountain area, but hilly area. And so there are some hills and trees up north. It's not all flat, like everybody says. So I did this painting, and then somebody really liked it, and they wanted to buy it. And then I ended up having to do another painting for somebody else. Um, I like this one. It's a cool phoenix rising up. They're always different every time. There goes some smoke going across. And see, a little bit of splatter from the ashes. Putting the phoenix back down. Some weights to hold it down. And just trying to highlight around it so that it stands out a little bit. Because as you saw when I lifted up, it did not stand out that great. So putting the colors around. And boom. Comes up a little bit better. So I was glad I made that decision. A little clear coat on. Siggy in the corner. And there was a the finished product with better lights. See you next time.